Hello everyone, it's me again, Andrew aka Mipuzi, and you are watching the lesson number 4 of our course about the best multiplayer in GTA 5, Rage MP. And today the topic of our lesson is events. Events on client, on the server, and how to interact with them. So, let's begin from uh, the definition of events. What is events? If uh, anyone don't know, I will try to explain. So, event. It's just an event. It's like a trigger that uh, triggering some functional uh, function, some method when something is happening. Let's imagine that we uh, order something from Amazon, and uh, when the package will come to our town, I'll get the notification. Amazon don't uh, checking the information about package every second, every millisecond, every tick. They're just waiting for the event. So when the package will come to the sorting center. Uh, the worker will scan the code and it will automatically trigger the event that will go to the backend of Amazon and tell like, hey, you system, look, this package is coming to the sorting center. You need to notify the user, the client, that something has happened and uh, you need to do something with it. So that's how it's working. Let's begin from the server side events. So the interaction is almost the same as the commons. But uh, now the player don't need to do something, especially to trigger something. It's like working automatically with Rage. There's some scenarios that will trigger the events. And uh, all the list of it you can find on wikigtanet.org right here. Or on RageMP wiki. It's for the JavaScript, but it's almost the same. And client-side client -side events are also on RageMP wiki especially for the uh, C-sharp. So let's imagine that uh, we want to make three scenarios. First of all, let's uh, give the full armor to the player when he will spawn. Let's create a new class on our server side and we'll call it events. Oops, like this. So. If you want uh, from RageMP to trigger our events in our scripts, we need to inherit again from uh, the script class. So to declare the event, we also need to use the uh, attributes for the server event that is declared from RageMP. We need to use uh, the server event attribute and then we need to type the enum of the events that we want to implement. So there is a list of all events that we have, but some of them are not working, but don't worry, uh, you can implement it by yourself. So we need the event on player spawn. So let's create the private void on player spawn. So if we will hover on this uh, enum, it will tell us what is it? Uh, what is the par parameters of this event? So as you can see, event params are GTA Network API dot client. It's the old event, so it's not client now. It's player player. So this method on player spawn will trigger when player will spawn. The region P will automatically uh, notify our script about it. So let's just make player dot armor equals to one hundred. Also, let's implement the second scenario. For example, with our car that we implemented in a previous lesson. Let's use the server event, event.player enter vehicle. Private void on player enter vehicle. And we need to know what params it's giving to us. So we are hovering it, and as you can see, the client client, the vehicle, and uh, as byte seat ID. So it's uh, the number of seat in the vehicle. So player, player, vehicle, vehicle, and as byte, seat ID. So let's check if vehicle, vehicle equals to null. Then we will just return. In some cases, it uh, might not work so properly. So we need to check it. And then let's. Uh, Vehicle. Let's change the color of our vehicle. So primary color equals to 12. Uh, 
it will make our car, our car black. The next one, event player exit vehicle private void on player exit vehicle player player vehicle vehicle as by uh, without as byte as I remember. Yep, just declined it vehicle. And let's change it back. If vehicle equals null, then return. Vehicle primary color, change it back to 131 as we implemented in previous lesson. So let's test it. So the game is launched. Let's create the car from with the command from previous lesson, create car. And as you can see, we have uh, the white other, I think. Yep, other. And uh, when we enter it, it automatically changed the color to black. If you will exit it, it will change back to white. So it's working. So now let's talk about client side events. They're almost the same as a server side. Let's try to create the new directory and we'll call it player. We will put all our scripts related to player into this folder. Let's create the new class, for example, example events. So to be able to use all our scripts on clean side, on client side, if it's trigger something or getting something from uh, rage events, we need to inherit this script, or our class, from events.script. Hey, you should work. Yeah, using rage, sorry. So the only difference between client side and server side events is uh, that we are not using uh, that we are using not uh, attributes to register uh, our events, but uh, we are we need to register it from ourselves. So let's create the constructor of this class, and inside this constructor we need to register our events. So events dot on player. For example, let's uh, use the call shape that we created in previous lesson on player enter call shape. And we need to provide the handler of this uh, of this uh, event. And let's also create events on player exit call shape. Create method. So when player will enter the call shape, we will uh, just rage chat. We will just output to the player that uh, you entered the call shape. And when the player will exit the call shape, we will output to him, you'll uh, exit it, the call shape. Okay, so now let's test it. So the game is launched. Now let's create the call shape with the command from our previous lesson. We need to provide scale, for example, two. And as you can see, there's a call shape and it automatically typing to us that you entered the call shape. And if you're exiting it, it will tell us that you excited the call shape. Also, as you can see, the thing from our previous lesson, the armor is also working. So it's like not canceling the other events. So they are working in uh, the par parallel. Like So almost all interactions between client and server are based on the event system. Uh, not only the built-in in RageMP, but also in our custom events. So let's imagine that you want to implement our custom event from server to client. For example, we will trigger something on our server and we will tell to our client to implement it. So let's go to our command script in our server side and let's create the new command. Uh, command. For example, let's do the randomize the appearance of our player. So we will create the command randomize me. Uh, randomize me, player, player. So to create the custom event, we just need, we don't need to do anything. We just need to declare this event on our client side and trigger the event on the server side. So to trigger the method, we will use player.trigger event uh, method. And we need to provide the event name and attributes if we have it. So. Usually, I'm uh, using this name convention. Uh, who triggering the method, uh, the event? So in our case, it's server. Who will uh, like handle this uh, event? 
who will do something, it's client. And what we need to do, randomize player. So that's all. Now we can trigger this event. And uh, the only thing that we need is to handle this event in our client side and do something. So let's go back to our client side. So to implement the custom event, to, make, to add the handler of it, we need to use events.add. Now we need to provide the name of the event. So I just copied it from, uh, from our server side. And we need to set the handler. So create method and let's call it randomize player. So to randomize the player, we will use random runs equals to new random. We're creating new random. And let's just use rage.elements.player.localplayer set head blend. And let's randomize the parameters. Run next, zero to three. Run next, zero to three. And let's just copy paste it. Mm -hmm, like this. Now let's uh, provide 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. And next false. Mm -hmm, sorry. It's flawed, so we need to provide F. Yeah, so our command is implemented. Now let's test it. To use this command, we need to use customize me. Oh, sorry, randomize me. And as you can see, our our appearance is changing. Randomize me. Just a simple command, and we're just triggering it from server to the client. So now let's talk about the client side events. Uh, I mean, how to trigger the custom events from our client to our server. So let's, for example, create the new thing. If we'll put, uh, if we'll uh, use the F5 key, we will, we want to repair our car. So rage.input.bind. And here we need to provide the number of our key. We can use the enum, for, for example, F5. Uh, the next one is boolean is down, down or up. So if we will set it to true, uh, this will trigger when we down the, when we down press down our key, and if we will uh, set it to false, it will trigger when we will uh, key up this key. So let's set it to true, and uh, we need to provide the handler. So let's just create it here, and uh, here we will just trigger the remote event, the same as uh, we triggered here, but uh, on our client side. So events dot trigger, oops, events dot call remote. Now we need to provide the name of our event. So the same convention is we used in our server side. So who triggering client, client who will handle server and what we need to do, uh, repair car. Also, let's add the check. Uh, is our player have any car or not? So if rage.element.player.localplayer.vehicle, if it's equals to null, if it's null, we will just player send, oops, uh, rage chat output, you are not in car and return. Let's, let's say it also from client. Now we need to handle this event in our server side. We are going to the events. And uh, here we don't need to use the server event. We are using the remote event attribute. And here we need to provide the name of our custom event. In our case, it's client server repair car. So private void on uh, repair car. The first argument of every event is player who triggers it. And uh, the next uh, 
uh, the first parameter, sorry. And the next parameters, it's all what we will provide from our client side or service side, whatever. So we are not providing any parameters, so we are just accepting only the player player. Let's also check here if player.vehicle equals to null. We will player send chat message. We'll uh, send, an send the message you are not in a vehicle from server and return. Otherwise, we will player dot vehicle repair. Okay, let's try it now in the game. So let's create the car again. We are using create car method. I'm in command. The car is created. And if we will sit it sit in this vehicle, it will change the color to black. And also we need to hit it somehow. Just like this. And if we will put F5 key, it will repair. And also it will use F5 key when we are not in the car, it will tell us you are not in car from client. So that's how it's working. So this is the end of this lesson. Now we know how to use the events, how to interact with them, the client event, uh, events, the server events, the remote events from client to server and uh, back from server to client. Also, the only things that we are not, uh, that we didn't talk about is uh, the RPC, it's the procedures, but we will talk about them into the next lesson. Next lesson will be about the data, how to store it, how to interact with it, and uh, how to do other things. So don't forget to subscribe, press your like, and uh, type your comment. It will really help to make our guides better. So see you into the next lesson. Goodbye.